the phone right now. We have Raed Gerard. He's a RAC consultant to the American Friends Service Committee and proprietor of the blog Raed in the Middle. Joshua Holland is an editor and senior writer for the online magazine Alternet. He blogs at The Smirking Chimp. They co-authored what I think is an incredibly important piece for Alternet entitled, Only a U.S. Withdrawal Will Stop Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Uh, Joshua, tell me the, um, the, the main thesis here that you're presenting in this paper. Thanks for having us, Sam. Um, we're pointing out that the portrayal of a kind of unitary Sunni position is very much false, and that the, there's um, hot divides within the community about how to deal with um, the U.S. occupation. And what we're saying is that the day that there is an announcement for a complete withdrawal of U.S. troops is the day that al-Qaeda in Iraq, which is a group that has only very loose associations with the uh, group that, that uh, perpetrated the 9-11 attacks, will cease to enjoy any local support it, among Iraqis. And the classic kind of notion of counterinsurgency is that a very small group can mount an effective resistance if they have some support from within the community, but without that support, they're really, um, they're, they're really left out to hang in the, in the air and, and cannot be an effective group. So what we're saying is that contrary to the, the kind of conventional wisdom that the United States needs to maintain forces in Iraq to defeat al-Qaeda in Iraq, it's only by announcing that we don't have long-term designs to maintain a presence in Iraq that the Iraqis itself, themselves will essentially take care of al-Qaeda in Iraq on our behalf. This is a group that has is uh, profoundly unpopular among Iraqis, and this is a, an important thing to point out. Um, you know, a recent poll taken by the BBC showed that Iraqis disapprove of al-Qaeda in Iraq's attacks on Iraqis. About 98% of them said that that was completely unacceptable, but about half of them said that they find it, uh, that they support the group's attacks on American troops. And this has long been the case. Since the very beginning of the occupation, we've had reports that the thing that is keeping Iraqis, the, the masses of Iraqis, from turning on these very unpopular terrorist groups is the presence of the U.S. occupation itself. All right, so we're talking to Joshua Holland, uh, Raya Gerard. They have a piece, uh, an alternate, entitled, Only a U.S. Withdrawal Will Stop Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Ryad, explain to me, if you could, the sort of uh, the, the psychology or the, uh, the demographic differences between what we call the Sunni insurgents or the Sunni tribal leaders and Al-Qaeda. Um, on the one hand, uh, Al-Qaeda is a group that is uh, mostly Iraqis, but it, uh, it is implementing a foreign agenda, foreign extremist agenda uh, that is killing Iraqis and is uh, destroying Iraq's national unity because Al-Qaeda wants to start an uh, uh, exclusively Sunni uh, Islamic state in the middle of Iraq. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the majority of Iraqis, whether they were Sunnis or Shia or secular or Kurds, are nationalists, and by nationalists, uh, they, they are uh, you know, but by nationalists, I mean that they are against any type of foreign agendas or foreign uh, groups interfering in Iraq's uh, local uh, or domestic politics. So, for an Iraqi Sunni or Shia or secular nationalist, uh, Al Qaeda in Iraq is uh, as much of an enemy uh, as much as uh, you know the U.S. troops are interfering, uh, as much as Iran is interfering, as much as any other countries in the region are interfering. So there is uh, an anti-foreign intervention feeling uh, among all uh, or the majority of Iraqis, regardless to their um, sect or uh, religion. And that's why uh, when we were saying that a complete withdrawal of the U.S. will um, end al-Qaeda's presence in Iraq, uh, we were saying this based on the fact that uh, now Iraqis are not fighting against al-Qaeda with their full force because they think that the first priority is attacking the U.S.-led coalition. But if the U.S. pulled out from there, Iraqi Sunni and Shia and secular nationalists 
who uh, the same ones who are attacking the U.S. now with 5,000 attacks a month, will direct all of their power to eliminate al-Qaeda or Iranian intervention or any other types of intervention. So the only reason why they are not attacking al-Qaeda full scale is the U.S. presence there. It's exactly the opposite of what the administration is saying.